Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, timekeeper, honorable judge, and debaters. This spring 2010 global debate resolution is Annex 1 countries of the UNFCCC should provide significantly increased aid to developing countries for the specific purpose of climate change adaptation. Without further ado, now I would like to invite the first affirmative speaker to take the podium. Thank you. We will be putting forward two main contentions argument today. Number one, the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities, and number two, the urgent need for increased aid to developing countries for the purpose of climate change adaptation due to their relative vulnerability. Contention number one, the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. This principle refers to the undeniable accountability of Annex 1 countries for the majority of the problems posed by climate change. For a number of years, there have been concerns that climate change negotiations will essentially ignore a key principle of climate change negotiation frameworks, the common but differentiated responsibilities. This recognizes that historically, industrialized nations have emitted far more greenhouse gas emissions than developing nations. The motion of today is, an excellent country of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCC, should provide significantly increased aid to developing countries for a specific purpose of climate change adaptation and we from our opposition strongly oppose our motion because more important issues are needed to be addressed first. I, as the first speaker, will be speaking about increasing the corruption perception index for developing countries and mitigation of global warming, while my second speaker will be speaking on getting out of small break and the socio-economic problems faced by non-NXPAR countries. Before moving on to my points, allow me to rebut some of the points brought forward by the proposition. Firstly, she said about principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. Let me give an example. Rich people, it's good for rich people to donate to the poor, but it's not obligated to do so. And even some and next one countries are basic for themselves. So they are not obligated to donate to the poor. First of all, you stated that it is essentially better than here. However, do you agree that some of the effects of climate change can already be seen and are already occurring, thus it is possible to prevent, uh, rather we should focus on um, the after effects? Can you repeat that? Some of the effects of climate change can already be seen in developing countries. Do you therefore not agree that prevention is better than cure and does not apply? I have to agree about that. Okay, thank you. And therefore, there is a strong need for adaptation. Why? Adaptation has the potential to reduce the negative impacts of climate change. However, the ability to adapt is particularly related to social economic characteristics. Likelihood of adaptation needs to be given a higher, higher amount of aid as developing countries are at a clear technological, financial, and institutional disadvantage. Let me tell you the status quo, ladies and gentlemen. Um, adaptation. There are international public multilateral and financing initiatives, like for example, Coco Basin Forest Fund, Mis Developed Countries Fund. However, almost all international public funds rely on voluntary contributions and will not raise sufficient financial flows needed. Population growth, rapid population growth, and rapid transition. Again, this would be a much larger problem, which is poverty, because poverty is definitely a more urgent need as opposed to climate change. And then, with uh, the second thing mentioned on how uh, non national countries are in disadvantage in terms of technology, economy, and institution. However, they did not specify how, she did not specify how NS1 countries were able to assist non NS1 countries in these areas. So that is a whole a loophole in their uh, arguments. And then, uh, she also talked about some revenue raising in that they uh, would allow auction of emission laws to allow to be able to emit more greenhouse gases. However, this is uh, wrong to say that we're talking as if climate change is some piece of that day, but in fact it is in an ongoing process. It could get worse, however, it could also get better. So if we were to reduce, significantly reduce carbon emission rates, we might be able to actually prevent climate change from happening and therefore release the need of climate change adaptation. With that, I would like to look once again away from outside, which is that the Indian one country should not provide significantly increased aid for climate change. Simply because I think it must be addressed.